it's very exciting, no? Tonight is Italian night. Yeah. And it is like my normal Italian nights, we're all gonna end up completely naked and covered in olive oil. <laughs> it's a fabulous, no? So it's, uh, it's terrific to see. I had some problems, in fact, to come here tonight. It was with the uh, Italian police. Uh, you know, they interview me for hours and hours. I am accused of uh, all kinds of things, fraud, uh, corruption, uh, drug abuse, underage uh, prostitution. I tell you, it was one hell of a party last night. Eh? <laughs> no, but serious. Seriously, now listen, it was going to be a bunga bunga party, okay? With me, that always means one thing. There's gonna be a big bill to pay afterwards, you know? <laughs> now, there's a problem because people say of me that uh, I did exactly the same thing to the Italian economy that I did to that woman with the bigger bazookas from Napa. You know? <laughs> it's a completely rude. You know? <laughs> now, this will mean only one thing. I don't got no cash on me tonight. It's a problem, but no, it's not a problem because I got a things to give away to you instead, right? Like, for example, I got a seat in the EU parliament. Anybody want a seat in the EU parliament? Eh? <laughs> now, some of you may be thinking, I don't want no seat in the EU parliament. I don't want this kind of work. But I got a good news, because you don't got to do any work. <laughs> All you got to do, you go to the EU, you say, EU, here's are my expenses. <laughs> <laughs> that we got to cut it back on our expenses. we got to do the austerity. I say, I'm already doing the austerity. Like, for example, this year, I go on holiday, I take only one piece of carry-on luggage and five prostitutes. <laughs> Usually, I take ten prostitutes. But, uh, no, it's true that in Italy right now, there are people who are not so happy. For them, a life is not such a big a bed of roses. Uh, for it's, there's people who, for example, are neglected. They are feeling abused, subject to constant humiliation. So I say to you, if you see my wife, give her one for me, eh? <laughs> but it's weird now today in Italy, you know, I get criticism all the time in the Italian media. I don't understand it, it's very strange, because I own the Italian media. <laughs> like this woman, she say that I am a big disappointment in the bed, right? Now listen, this could happen to anybody, you know? You mix up your Viagra with your peppermint creams, huh? <laughs> and there's some more serious accusations against me. This woman say that I am uh, hypnotizer into my bigger bed, hmm? This is a big lie, okay? I'm gonna prove it to you right now, and for this one, I need some audience participation, okay? You ready? <laughs> So I want you to look at the pretty clock. <laughs> and watch it going back and forward and back and forward. Okay? Now are you ready, all of you, to repeat that after me? Okay, you ready? Okay. Silvio, Noah hypnotizer. Silvio, Noah hypnotizer. No bloody woman. No bloody woman. Make a slip with him in. He's a bigger bed. Hey, hey, hold it. Just shut up, okay? No, no, I need to finish. Okay, forget about the photo now, okay? I'll bring you one in a moment. Okay. I just do one last thing, okay? A serious point. If you want to understand Italian politics, okay? You just got to understand that the Italian people, they want a stronger leader. Mussolini, he make the trains run on time, no? He's not so good at fixing the street lamps, which is why they hang him upside down from one by his toes. <laughs> I know make this mistake myself. It's true, I didn't fix the trains, and I didn't fix the street lamps, but what I did, I put the big bazookas all over the Italian television. <laughs> now the men are too busy looking at the big bazookas, they forget to hang him upside down by my toes. <laughs> so listen, know about me, I got an eye for the next generation of political talent. I'm going to introduce you now to a beautiful lady, just busting out all over with her talent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a big, big round of applause, please, for Ayorta Bimbochina. She is 
missä 